Good morning, everyone. Well, that was a loud intro. Uh, it's finally time to record and do this Q&A. Uh, so before we get right into the questions, uh, let's introduce what's what you're going to be seeing for the next half hour. Is this MVM game that went that I was incredibly unsure of uh, until we started actually getting into the game. Now, when you see these uh, the Steam, you think like, oh, what can go wrong with this? You know, you got to. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, you got your NG, you even got a pyro, you got two heavies, you got your soldier, you just need a demo man or sniper. Uh, so, you know, but you're going to be seeing what's going to happen throughout the rest of this game. So, that's the game, uh, and enjoy that going on in the background uh, while I answer some questions submitted by you guys. So, uh, let's get started. I, I went through all the uh, comments that are there as of me recording, uh, posted them, and wrote out tiny blips of what I'm going to answer with because I don't want to get strung up on uh, one question and be stuck there for the next half hour because I probably will end up doing that. So uh, I got a nice tall glass of water. Since I'm going to be talking for the next half hour. And let's get started. The first question is by Fango799. Fango I've noticed you made a lot of SFM films and shorts lately, so my question is, did you make film slash shorts before SFM was released? And if so, what SFM-like program did you use? Before Source Filmmaker uh, and actually animating, I did traditional machinima, which is the manipulate, which is just recording uh, gameplay of a game and manipulating it to look like it's cinematic or uh, like an actual uh, movie or short. Um, if you want to see any of those, uh, I still have Team Fortress 2 ones on Machinima.com, and I have a whole playlist that uh, shows what that's like. But you know, to even go further back, I have a, my old YouTube account, SSBVet, uh, that shows Machinima I did when, number one, I was incredibly younger. And by the way, we lose a lot of money here, but we still somehow do this. It's baffling. Um, but anyways, um, old YouTube account, SSB Vet, you can see there, uh, Super Smash Brothers Machinima. And, uh, you know, SSB Vet, Super Smash Brothers, and I'll be talking more about my name later in one of the questions. So, uh, moving on to our next question, uh, Sniffy Whisper asks, what is your favorite game ever? I would have to say my favorite game ever was Portal 2, and that my favorite I, I just had to men give this an honorable mention is that my favorite game trilogy uh, is definitely Mass Effect and I just have love, I just have massive respect and love for the atmosphere that is Mass Effect. <clears throat> if you want to see me uh, play some Mass Effect, why don't you come in my stream every once in a while where I'm now going to be playing through Mass Effect 2. Alright, there's plug number one. Uh, second shark asks, did you unbox your unusual? Uh, the answer is no. My friend Robbie, or Sprite Kingdom 2, gave it to me, and, uh, well, not gave it to me, but we, we traded, uh, I gave him 50 fish for the unusual. All I did was tell him if he could get me the unusual, I'd give him 50 fish. And he was really into, uh, trading and unusuals. Uh, at the time, so you know, that's he. He was the only friend I really had that was into uh, working with unusuals because he unboxed an unusual and then he started getting into the trade market. Then yeah, I've got a stuffy nose. This is annoying. J.K. Magna man asks, "Why are you so obsessed with the Hearts Pyromancer? What made you fall in love with it?" Uh, I was playing on a random uh, Badwater Badwater server. And I found a pyro that had killed me, uh, who was wearing a pyromancer mask and the sight for sore eyes. And after I saw that in my kill cam, I fell in love with it. I could not believe how hysterical the pyro could possibly look when he has a melee, when he's swinging a melee weapon like that pyro is, but wearing a a cow mask, or. Not a cow mask, it's a dragon's mask, isn't it? While wearing a dragon's skull, not mask, skull, and having googly eyes fucking inside of it. That's 
hilarious. Uh, let's see. Hold on, I'm gonna take a drink. Uh, you've shown Ser Sergi C. Gaia, okay, says, you've shown in one of your last videos that, uh, you love the Makalai myth. What are some of your other works items that you would like to see added in-game? Uh, anything that has to do with fish, really. Uh, look forward to anything that has to do with fish. If you're an item maker, make something with fish. Uh, and bonk. And fish and bonk. Uh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Amit, 14, asks, what, what do you like doing better, source filmmaker or commentaries? Well, source filmmaker is indefinitely more rewarding and a lot more fun to do. Uh, commentaries are like, uh, don't take a lot of effort to do. Uh, the only, sh 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 the only, you know, disadvantage to that is working uh, strenuously in Premiere. And Premiere isn't exactly the fastest program, but it is uh, decent. And, you know, it, it, we're, I prefer it over Sony Vegas, despite slower uh, s slower performance at times. God, the my nose right now is really bothering me. Hasmask asked if you could add any home household item as a new melee item to TF2. What would you pick, XD? Uh, I decided I would add a refrigerator for the pyro. Uh, Fern three asks. What do you use to keep your mind sane when making an SFM video? Uh, music. A uh, huge, huge music library that I've listened to dozens and dozens and dozens of times. Uh, why, uh, Bloody Fang asks, why the name Smashing Veteran? My original name uh, used to be SSB Vet, which is a com combination of Super Smash Brothers and Veteran. Uh, and I... What happened was I got an Xbox and I wanted to get Xbox or free gold and which could have been done, uh, which you, like, I don't know about it now, but when you first got an Xbox console back when I got it, you could, uh, excuse me, get free gold, uh, for registering through or signing up for Xbox live through your Xbox. Uh, and I had to do this three times in order for it to actually work. Uh, and that first account that I made was SSB Vet, and you know you can't rename, uh, delete accounts, and then rename them uh, as other accounts. So SSB Vet was not an option anymore. Uh, the second option was uh, Veteran Thirty Six. Uh, Thirty Six because uh, I was into football at the time, and that football number was Brian Westbrook of uh, Philadelphia Eagles. I I'm from Pennsylvania, by the way. So that's, you know, that's a bit more of an explanation of why that. And on the third account attempt, I did Smashing Veteran. I just said it to myself. It said, hey, that sounds like an all right name. Fluffy McDuff asks, uh, how would you make the pyro balanced? Okay. So, he has to carry a big sign on top of his head that at all times will be out, and it has to say, Don't get so fucking close to me, and I will be fair game. And there you go, you got a balanced pyro. Uh, get good, scrubs. clan 12 one Zaki asks, How did you discover Team Fortress, and how long have you been playing it? My friend Miguel, otherwise known as Idle Hat, first showed me the game way back in 2009. Uh, since early 2009, I've been playing it. I used to first play it on, uh, I, I played it on the Xbox, uh, because at that time I only had a laptop and I didn't have the, the quote unquote virtual money to spend on Steam, uh, digital money rather, I guess. I don't know. So, and by the way, at that time I was still partnered with Machinima, but, Mach but at that time Machinima didn't pay us through PayPal. They paid us through, uh, actually sending us checks. Uh, which maybe not a lot of people know is that YouTube partners used to be paid through physical checks and, you know, not other ways or directly to a bank account or whatever. So, uh, there's that. Um, so yeah, early 2009, then later in 2009, uh, I finally got it for the PC and 
started playing it there. Uh, next question. I'm sorry, my running, my throw is messing with me right now. Uh, Gummy Johns asks, "What do you record with and edit with?" I record using Bandicam, and I edit using Adobe Premiere. I use Bandicam instead of Fraps because Bandicam compresses the file sizes down uh, a lot, and it's very beneficial because I don't have that big of a hard drive, and I can't record onto my external hard drive because it's a piece of shit. Scarcees asks, Hi, new subscriber here. What are your thoughts on the last update? Charge and terrible. Uh, another person I forgot to put the name in of, oops, uh, I have a screenshot anyways. Do you think Valve will transfer TF2 to Source 2 when it comes out? Uh, this depends on how different Source 2 is from, uh, why is it called Source 2 if we're already at Half-Life 2? It will be called Source 3. Um, anyways. Uh, pr I, I do not think it will because... The, the, it is going to be hugely different from what we already have seen. And also, uh, that'd be a lot of work to convert the entire game uh, to this new engine. That'd be a lot of work for five or more or less people. Quote, unquote, five more or less people. Unquote. I already said unquote. Azura Blade, a lot of numbers, asks, What's your fave hat? Uh, to be honest, Bonk Boy is my favorite hat in the game. Uh, let's see. Nanocats117 asks, Can you do a source filmmaker for newbies? I want to do things like Drunken Demo Man. There are plenty of animation professionals, ones that have gone to college or done actual professional work, uh, that could tell you more about source filmmaker, and they're, al and they're already done tutorials than I could ever tell you. So no, the only kind of professional training I have is watching those tutorials self-teaching, and through an animation book I got a while ago, the animation book known as the Animator... Where is it? The Animator Survival Kit. It's a book written by uh, the animator of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and I would definitely... If you were getting into animation, uh, you know, working with the animation part of Source Filmmaker, that is definitely a book that you should get. Heavily recommend it for anyone at all that wants to get into animation. Uh, and who has a stuffy throat. What type of computer do you use? I want TF2 so bad, but I need a good computer for it. Um, well, this is embarrassing. I have a pre-built computer that I later custom built onto. Uh, as of right now, the only remaining things in my computer that we came with it are the case and the motherboard. Everything else in it is totally brand new. But uh, as far as what I've done to it, or the important things are, I have a GTX 570 video card. I have an AMD Phenom, Phenom? Phenom? 2 uh, CPU and 8 gigabytes of RAM. So, next question. Maximus More Numbers asks, uh, In your opinion, what is the most OP weapon in TF2? Uh, Flugistinator. No question about it. Elton Jim, Elton Lim, my bad, asks, What is your favorite class and preferred class and the class you play the most with? Uh, excuse Favorite class, Pyro. Most preferred class, Pyro. Class you play the most with, Pyro. Uh, I thought this was a question about the loadout, so I gave my loadout, but uh, you all know my loadout is a degreaser, and I'll use any of the flare guns, and uh, and also a mailbox. When will you be live streaming TF2 again? Uh, when I somehow get Fios Internet. Uh, Mr. Game Moments asks, what tips do you have to be more accurate? Uh, I assume that means aim in an FPS game. Uh, well, why do you think I play as Pyro, to be totally honest? Uh, the Great Fresh LOL asks, if you could change anything in TF2, what would you change? The Vlogistinator. 
Happy Orange asks, what's your favorite music genre slash band? You gonna do some cool games on YouTube, except TF2 and SFM? I know you do cool stuff on Twitch, but what about on YouTube? Uh, as far as music goes, the only band I personally prefer is the Beatles, but uh, I have no favorite genre. I can I can listen to any kind of music as, so long as it has a melody to it. I've li- I listen to musical, I listen to pop and hardcore metal and rap. I listen to anything I can that has a melody. Uh, also, uh, if I do any other games on my YouTube channel, it'll be edited shorts or it'll be in the live stream. If you want to see me play other games, you're going to have to go to the live stream. But I'm going to try to upload uh, stream highlights from the live streams to give uh, more content for people that don't want to sit through the uh, three-hour sessions, two- to three-hour sessions of me playing a game uh, Armageddon3 asks, how old are you, and should I follow your Twitter? I am 18, and yes, you should go follow my Twitter, link in the description. The Eating Shoe asks, ever go insane? I have. Uh, who hasn't, really? Uh, Elvis Rocking one asks, do you like bananas? Uh, who hasn't, really? CrossChop114 asks, what is your favorite TV show slash cartoon? Uh, I watch Doctor Who a lot. Uh, if I had to choose a favorite cartoon, I would go with anything of uh, Modern Cartoon Network. That's an actually animated show. So, Adventure Time or regular show. Uh, you know, that's if I had to pick. I don't watch them consistently at all. Uh, he also asks, where does most of your inspiration come from? Most animation inspiration comes from Pixar films and being a critic and analyzing them and analyzing other movies, uh, I found that masterpiece films just inspire ideas and inspire me to actually do work in source filmmaker. Like, I've seen... I- I've gone and watched uh, Inglorious Bastards, and after I watched Inglorious Bastards, I felt so inspired to make make something and just keep working on it. But I've also found that bad movies, horrible movies, demotivate me. Like, I watched uh, The Pineapple Express, and I felt like crap for a while when it came to working in Source Filmmaker. I didn't want to make anything. It was so... uh, eh, I I don't know. I didn't like that movie, and uh, when I don't like a movie, it it unfortunately reflects. Uh, Penguin Maniac Zero asks... Smashing Vet, what is your favorite or least favorite update in TF2 has ever done since the very beginning, and please explain why. My favorite update was the war update because of how dynamic and involved with the community it was. It was such an amazing update. If you don't know what the war update was... It was literally demo men versus soldiers on every server. Every server was soldiers and demo men, and they were keeping track of all those kills, of uh, who was killing who. And they found, and whoever had uh, the most kills, uh, whether it was the soldiers having the most kills or the demo men having the most kills, would get uh, a new new exclusive weapon during that update period. And the soldier won. And I believe uh, he got the gunboats from that. Uh, that update was when he got the gunboats and the direct hit. Um, uh, I think that's what he got as uh, the equalizer at that time. Maybe that came with it. I don't specifically remember what the, the melee weapon was there. But I believe that the weapon that came out of uh, the soldier winning the war was the gunboats. Uh, Idle Hat asks, who is Idle Hat? Uh, he is the person that got patched in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, one of the updates a few days ago. Uh, SRGV61 asks, which is your favorite pyro melee weapon and do you, you, do you like the new power jack? Uh, favorite melee weapon would be the mailbox, and yes, I love the degree, the whole degreaser item set. I have the whole set, uh, I don't use it. But I love it. I love all the Pyro's uh, item sets. 
uh, Bush Dog Swag, okay, asks, do you know Star and Jerma? If so, are you going to be playing some TF2, GTA 4, any other games with them one day? I know who they are, but I don't know them personally. Uh, NetOg111 asks, are you going to do more TF2 machinima like the old ones you do with the replay system? Nope. All source filmmaker now. Uh, because I'm going to be going to college for animation. I should probably do animation. And when you do replay systems, that's not animation. That's manipulation of game engine. Uh, Muscat906 asks, play Saints Row 3. Uh, about that, I've already uninstalled it. RPZ333 asks, You had a lot of negative feedback on your old machinimas. What made you continue making them? Well, aside from just getting better as I go and uh, getting better with every short I make, uh, it was also that machinima comments and ratings meant pretty much nothing. Uh, there was an odd demographic of which people subscribe to machinima's channel, uh, watching TF2 videos, like not everyone on that channel liked Team Fortress 2, uh, so naturally, naturally they wouldn't have liked the most of the content. And my goal on that when I was doing machinima, when I was doing that machinima, well, by the way, yeah, look at that. I'm the only person defending the bomb. Uh, I I wasn't the only one. Or the I, I was trying to appeal to the Team Fortress 2 audience on machinima. Like I am now, but not, but I wasn't trying to appeal to everyone, which I probably should have been doing if I was uh, doing videos for Machinima.com. But the humor stayed within TF2 realm, so only people that play TF2 were really getting the jokes, but that's not my problem, and the episodes went up, those videos went up, they were liked, a lot, a lot of hate from people that don't play TF2 or aren't as into it. Uh, so that's why that was like that. It was like, it meant, it didn't mean anything. Uh, comments and ratings on Machinima meant almost nothing because it wasn't really a true reflection of really how well I was doing. So there's that. Uh, Mr. Asked Forward asks, have you ever advertised yourself? If so, what, to what extent? Uh, let me take a quick drink here. Uh, aside from social media websites, uh, I don't believe I have. However, I have told people in real life about my source of income. However, I do not expect any of them to actually look up my channel and uh, go and look at it. Typoli1996 asks, some fan made up, uh, made, some fan made man up mode MVM nights will be interesting. Are you up for that? Already did it. And also... Rock of Age Rock was funny. Please keep making edited videos of you playing games. It's incredibly hard to get footage like that, actually, uh, and to get reactions like what we did there. And, you know, it, it just doesn't naturally happen. So that's kind of a hard thing to do. Like, it wasn't that the editing made it funny, even though you might say, the, you people might say it will, but uh, I. Uh, I almost killed myself there. Ugh! It was more of a actually like having content to uh, work with in the recordings. Uh, like if you watch uh, one of the Bioshock, I think, what is it? I don't know. It was like a Bioshock video I did where I was like dead tired and recording. And I edited that one up. I assume that's also what you mean? Like something like that. Like I, I was just dead tired and... Uh, editing the video while dead tired too, so uh, possibilities like that are uh, more likely, but no one brings up that as an example, so I don't know. Jack Redplay asks, coming back to the Saxies, Bonk Boy? I'm not entirely sure. If I do that, I absolutely do plan to get a whole team of people to uh, work on a project, but I would also plan to... Uh, try to be featured in other people's work as well like i would be totally down for uh helping other well-known source filmmaker people do their videos and you know all mutual uh collaborations uh in order to 
get myself into more projects and credited in more projects. But uh, as far as my own project goes, I have no idea. And there you go. There's when I kill myself. So uh, Jack also asks uh, giveaways, raffles, signature service, uh, only if sponsored to do so. Uh, signature service, if you want me to sign something. Uh, I Personally, I forget how that works, but if you wanted me to, what is it, crafting? Yeah, you would have to have me craft it. Wouldn't you? No, uh, no. Unless, unless sponsored, uh, no. Oh yeah, you give me the things to craft, and I craft. Okay, uh, right. Uh, if someone wanted to do that, they would probably. If someone wanted that, they could private message me, and I'd gladly do it. Uh, but as far as raffles or giveaways, uh, that would have to be sponsored by you guys donating stuff to be given away. Uh. Which I don't see why you would personally. I wouldn't donate to me. Or, uh, what is it? Other people or smaller networks, uh, sponsoring me. Uh, let's see. Goblin720 asks, we want more fan nights. Okay. Oh, uh, and when are you getting your server? The people over at Serious Gaming are going through technical issues, but, uh, we're trying that we're just. They're just trying different things and trying to get their servers uh, back up. Once they got the servers back up, and they'll have my server back up, and uh, that's that's when we'll have that back up. Uh, you know, uh, I could say it's I want to say it's soon, but really I don't know, and I don't even know if they know. So there's that. And uh, how much do you love us? Uh, this many. All right, I got through all the questions I really wanted to answer. Uh, sweet, and I still got like a few minutes to go. Might as well go through the other ones. Uh, how many babies have you killed? Asks Ebdober ninety two. Uh, none. Uh, Lego one agent asks serious question. Um, why can't I think of a serious question? Question mark exclamation point. Uh, 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 that's why. Can I have bacon? No. Have you ever been, have you ever been, have you ever made a video that you regret making? Also, what do you plan to do for a future channel? Uh, Drunken Demo Man subject matter was something I regretted. <laughs> Man, I've just got all my noises recorded today. Uh, I, and, uh, there, there was another video up on Machinima's channel called The Free to Players. I don't have it in my ship Machinima playlist, but I made it. Uh, it was lazily done, and the only reason I made it was because... I'm going to sneeze again. <laughs> was because I was at the time I was giving myself a self-goal to make one video a month for Machinima. Uh, and I was doing very well with it, and that was the last monthly video I had made... Uh, and it went pretty awful, and, like, I didn't want to submit it, but I made it, and I put it up. And, uh, yeah, that's that. It uh, did however well it did. I don't look back at it. Uh, I'm white. Can you help me get black? Uh, nope. Uh, am I wasting your fucking time? No thank. Ham or sandwich? Uh, currently, at the moment, I am leaning towards ham. Uh, if you could have any hat from TF2 in real life, what hat would it be? I don't wear any hats in real life, uh, so I would have to say a novelty pyromancer and maybe some giant googly eyes to go with it. Uh, can you say one smart fellow, he felt smart, two smart fellows, they felt smart, three smart fellows, they felt smart, four smart fellows, they all felt smart. As fast as you can, this is a very serious question. One smart fellow, he felt smart. Two smart fellow, they felt smart. Three smart fellow, they fell apart. They felt apart. They felt smart. Wow. Uh, th th there's your attempt. Are you a brony? No. What would you do if you were a pyro against the charge and touch demo man? Uh, you mean what have I done? And what I have done is first I get out of my seat and then I walk out the window. Uh, when are you going to give me back my Hot Wheels Battle Force 5 action figures? I gave them to you last month and you said hee ha hoo ha hee ha hee ha hoo hee hee and ran off. 
I want them back. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for today. Uh, thank you to everyone who has tuned in to uh, w uh, watch me for the past half hour and listen to me talk and answer questions. We got victory, taking out that tank. Uh, what is, what a, oh my god, how much money did we miss? We'll see in a second. But, you know, thank you for uh, joining me today. We missed $300. Oh my god, that's insane. We technically missed $600 because of the bonus ones. That's a that's a lot of money. So, whatever. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. Uh, and I will see you guys again in the next video. And thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, uh, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Oh god, the video is ending.